the Rangers. Proof that even the failure is bigger in Texas. Grab the popcorn, it's time to open the history books of pain and misery. The Rangers are born as the reincarnation of the Washington Senators, a team that fucked off to Minneapolis after perpetually disappointing their fans. They pick up where the previous iteration left off, spending the majority of the 60s in the basement of the league. The fans enjoy ownership hot potato and incompetent management. You need a big hire to help you get out of this. Go and get the goat of baseball in Ted Williams to be your manager. Good job, you have a record over 500 and you don't suck. Turns out that year was a fluke and Ted Williams actually doesn't give a shit about managing. Back to the basement. Owner Bob Short has a plan though. It's time to go all in. Gamble everything for notorious gambler Denny McLean. He is as terrible as the team is. He openly clashes with Williams. His arm is shot and he has a 22 loss season. McLean and the rest of the Underminers Club reward the team with 96 losses. Good news, Bob Short is packing your bags from this hellhole. You're going to Arlington. Their final game in DC is a total disaster where thousands of fans walk in free of charge because security decided to give zero fucks and walk out. Fans are so elated with the team and their move that they storm the field and looted of all possessions before the game ends. I'd do the same thing if I wouldn't have shitty baseball for a few decades. Leave a lasting first impression in Texas with consecutive 100 loss seasons. The GOAT is sent to slaughter in the meantime. We need to draft the ace of the future. His name is David Clyde. We don't even need to develop him as an 18 year old. Let's rush him to the majors. And they completely fucked him up. Well played, Rangers. You know who will get you to the promised land? New owner Brad Corbett. Time to throw money at everything that moves. This spending leads you into total mediocrity. Billy Martin is turning your team around though. Unfortunately, Meddlesome Ownership sacks him and replaces him with a sniveling puppet. Oh shit, a 94 win season! Unfortunately, you don't come close to making the playoffs. Have fun pissing away your best season ever with four different managers, boys. One of whom quit after one game. And you're mediocre again. Who knew that all of that money you threw around was all for naught? Damn, you are so close to winning the West in the first half and clinching a playoff spot. Oh, there was a player strike and you finish in second. At least there's a second half. And you play like shit. No playoffs once again. Look at all of this middling futility. Look at it! I'm mad too, Eddie. They need to do something to fix this. I know. Just trade longtime catcher Jim Sundberg. That won't piss off the fans at all. Star pitcher Dave Stewart has just been arrested for soliciting prostitutes. Truly a worthy winner of the Good Guy Award. Charlie Huff is having the game of his life. He's throwing a no-hit shutout into the ninth inning. Nothing can fuck this up. Absolutely nothing. You know, I would say something grim, but the Rangers do that well enough already. Regardless of that, they're still leading the division by five games in June. Keep it going, you might just make the playoffs for once or just regress to the mean and not make it in. Charlie Huff just cries in the dugout. You need a big splash again to make the team relevant. It's time to get a legend in Nolan Ryan. You get a new savior as owner, George W. Bush. W! That's a hell of a lot better than moving to Tampa Bay. You are still incredibly mediocre. This Sammy Sosa guy is terrible. Let's trade him. But look at all of this great talent you have. An elite pitching core led by Ryan and Kevin Brown, Juan Gon, Rafi Palmero, Julio Franco. You are due for playoffs now. Do I even need to say that terrible word? Let's take a look at hot new acquisition Jose Canseco. Sounds like a lot of the Rangers personnel decisions over the years. So they're sending out Jose Canseco to pitch, huh? Oh, it's a blowout. Nothing bad could come out of this. I didn't mean that kind of blowout. Look at this. This is the best moment that your franchise has had so far. Be proud of it. Make it a statue outside of the stadium for fuck's sake. Interesting. You're in contention for the division title. You aren't that good, but you may actually make it to the promised land for once. Nope, never mind. The MLB locked the door and told all the teams to fuck off. No playoffs once again. This R.A. Dickey guy is a great prospect. Draft the man, Shirley. So it turns out he doesn't have a vital ligament for pitching. Well, this is awkward. Turns out you're not humdrum anymore. You actually made the playoffs. What kind of world are we living in? You've won a playoff game! 
The hangover lasts for far too long and you lose your next three games to the Yankees. Too bad. All right, you're back in the playoffs again. And you lose to those damn Yankees again. You don't even win a playoff game this time. How did that Sammy Sosa guy ever turn out anyway? You make it back to the playoffs. You're swept by the Yankees. Even in Texas, the evil empire is making you their bitch. Unfortunately, you're back to that horrific futility that plagued you for decades. It's time to fight fire with fire. Throw an exorbitant shitload of money to acquire the services of A-Rod in free agency. So you need more than one elite player to succeed in a team sport such as baseball, huh? Our pitching has been god-awful as of late. We have the solution. Dumping a dump truck full of money on Chan Ho Park. He becomes regurgitated puppy chow in Texas. Woof. Looks like ownership has pissed off A-Rod and his contract has become an albatross on the team. Those damn Yankees are willing to take on his contract though. Time to trade him for our new star Alfonso Soriano. Alright, the Rangers are finally relevant again. Their offense is filled with so much promise. They are a half game back of the AL West in mid-August. This is their time. Or they revert to the comfort of mediocrity thanks to shitty pitching and don't make the playoffs. Time to throw some chairs into the stands. In fact, let's see how Kenny Rogers is doing in his return to Arlington. What a gentleman and a scholar. It's time to make some big moves to revamp the roster. That Soriano guy can be improved upon. He's going to the Nationals. And you know what? These Chris Young and Adrian Gonzalez guys are bums. Let's trade them to the Padres. And the results you get in return are garbage. Adrian Gonzalez and Chris Young become things you desperately need. Please wipe the tears with a Jackson lying around. We need to atone for past mistakes. Let's bring back Slam and Sammy. It does not save you from the clutches of mediocrity. Only took you five years, but you're back to being a formidable foe. You're in competition for the division again in June. And then you can't keep up with the Joneses and fail to make the playoffs again. You've got promise though. Maybe things will change soon. Turns out your owner Tom Hicks met Karma and his hubris and ego has bit him in the ass. Time to be pawned off in bankruptcy court. So you actually made the playoffs again. And you won a playoff series for once. I wouldn't call about a half century too long of a wait. And you take out those goddamn Yankees for once and make it to the Mecca. You're going to the World Series. You're facing another team with a lengthy championship drought and the Giants. Eh, they made it far enough. It's your fucking time now. It's your time to fall apart at the worst possible moments and get smothered by them in five games. Still a successful season though. Next year you'll get over the hump. What did I tell you? You made it back to the World Series again. Those arrogant Cardinals will be no match for the Ranger Machine. All right, they're down to their final strike. You got this. In the right well hit. Back at the wall. It's off the wall. One run scores. Here comes Buckman. Freeze has tied it. Defensive replacements, what the fuck are those? There's a shot. Take two. They're down to their final strike again. Foot on the throat. In the air to right center. This game is tied. What kind of pitch was that? You aren't going to choke in this inning. You're fine. This is David Freeze. He's a scrub. He's not owning you like the Yankees. Freeze hits it in the air to center. We will see you tomorrow night. Please excuse me, I have a hot date with some side. Don't fuck up game seven, will ya? And you lay the biggest of aims. You know what? You deserve this embarrassment. Get fucked with a pike. Dick fucking freeze, what a joke. At least you're putting that joke job behind you. You're up by five games in the division with ten days left in the season. Ron Washington isn't going to let you crumble. You guys are championship contenders for God's sake. You lost seven of your last nine and blow a five to one lead in the final game to piss away the division lead. That takes talent to fuck up like that. Now you have to deal with this new fandangled wildcard game. They get embarrassed at home by the Orioles. They're up two games in the division at the end of August. So how are they gonna fuck this up? Yeah, losing 16 of 21 in September will do it. 
But wait, there's still a chance. They're on a seven game winning streak to end the year. They can clinch a wildcard spot in a 163rd game. The Rays come into Arlington and completely annihilate whatever's left of their hopes and dreams. We need another splash to ride the ship. Time to make a blockbuster trade to the Tigers to get Prince Fielder. Turns out you didn't even need to collapse in September. You chose to do it all season long. You spend more time on the IR than winning. Well done, guys. Well done. Good. They've turned it around and won their division again. They've taken the first two games against the Blue Jays with a chance to sweep it home. Let's go. Or they can just whimper in game three. Whatever, they're playing with house money. They'll get it together for game four. How do you shit the bed that badly in the first three innings? And that dicky guy got revenge too? Ugh, now you have to go to Canada again. Phew, you're taking the lead in the seventh inning. Get shit done for once in your fucking lives, boys. Uh, how does a defensive ace like Andrews boot that ground ball? On the ground to the right side. What in the literal fuck is going on? Why are you prolapsing now? Fucking now! What? What? How are you taking the piss this badly? What in the literal fuck am I even watching right now? But you know what? Fuck it. Just get Joy Bounce out here and regroup in the and there goes whatever dignity this organization had left. You blew it! Turns out Bautista's bat flip broke some unwritten rule and Rufnendo doors out for blood. At least you won the moral battle or something like that. How's Prince Fielder doing? Thank God insurance can pay for that contract. They're back in the playoffs as the top seed in the AL and they're facing the Blue Jays again. It's time to go out and get some revenge. Grounded in the hole, backhanded by Andrews, goes to second one, on to first, bad throw, it gets away, and coming home is Donaldson, he scores! I was worried for a moment that you figured out baseball fundamentals in the clutch. Enjoy the sweep. Your closer, Sam Dyson, chooses to imitate the team in October and has forgotten how to throw a baseball properly. Congratulations. Well, at least you have a sentimental moment. Adrian Beltre just had his 3,000th hit. You also lose that game. And now you're back into the cold steel grip of mediocrity again. You get no sympathy. You fucked up with an elite hitting core, dynamite pitching, and a cast of talent that most teams would kill to have for almost a decade. You were as pathetic as you were when you were getting ass pounded in the basement when you were the Senators. Now you want to pill for the city of Arlington for shitloads of money for a new stadium because it just gets so hot in Texas. You know what isn't hot? The Rangers when it matters. Enjoy this mockery. You've earned every single second of it. The 2 -0 is hit high in the air to left center field. Back is Murphy on the run. Three run home run Renteria. And a 3 nothing San Francisco lead in the seventh.